Moving on from this, you have those some key contentions, right? Because some people will argue, well, hold on a second, Hamza. Well, what about Shakespeare and Al-Mutanabbi, the famous poet Al-Mutanabbi? Isn't Shakespeare, isn't Shakespeare inimitable, right? Isn't Shakespeare inimitable? inimitable? Well, there's something that we need to really clarify here, right? So let's first talk about Al-Mutanabbi. So who was Al-Mutanabbi? Now, uh, Abu Atayyib Ahmed ibn al Hussein Al-Mutanabbi Al-Kindi, right? He was considered an inimitable poetic genius by, by many Arabs, right? And some have argued that although other poets have used the same panayiric genre and poetic meter as the great poet, they have not been able to match his level of eloquence and stylistic variance. Therefore, they conclude that Al-Mutanabbi is inimitable because we have the blueprint of his work and the linguistic tools at our disposal, but cannot emulate anything like his poetic expression. If this is true, then it undermines the Quranic inimitability. However, this is totally false. Okay? This acclamation of Al-Mutanabbi is false. Firstly, there have been many Im imitations of Al-Mutanabbi by Jewish poets, Moses ibn Ezra and Solomon ibn Gabriel, Interestingly, the Andalusian poet Ibn, Ibn Hani al-Andalusi was known as the Al-Mutanabbi of the West. And what's very significant is that when you study medieval Arabic poetry, medieval Arabic poetry didn't create new literary genres, right? This was due to the fact that it depended on previous poetic work. And the academic, the academic Dennis E. McAuley writes that medieval poetry largely hinged more on literary precedent than on direct experience. Also, in classical Arabic poetry, it wasn't unusual. It's not unusual for a poet to attempt to match a predecessor poem by writing a new one in the same poetic meter, rhyme, and theme. And this was considered a, a normal practice. So it's not surprising that the professor of religion, Emil Homerin, explored the literary expression of Ibn al-Farid and described his work as very original improvisations of al-Mutanabbi. And to, fight, to, to, to highlight further that Al-Mutanabbi could be emulated, um, you, you, you see that he disclosed himself, I think, in his biographical works, that the, another poet, Abu Nawas, uh, he actually bor borrowed work from Abu Nawas. And many medieval Arabic literary critics, such as Al-Sahib uh, ibn uh, Abbad and Abu Ali Muhammad ibn Al-Hassan Al-Hatimi, they wrote criticisms of Al-Mutanabbi, right? Ibn Abbad, for example, he, he, he wrote um, uh, stuff against Al-Mutanabbi. Al-Hatimi, for example, wrote a biographical account of his an encounter with Al-Mutanabbi in his uh, Al-Risala. And he basically concludes that, you know, his work wasn't that great from, and it could be emulated from that perspective. And, and Al-Hatimi presents a stronger polemic against Al-Mutanabbi and argues the case that his poetry does not have a unique style and contains error. Even the academic professor Seeger A. Bonabaka, who studied Al-Hatimi's literary criticism of Al-Mutanabbi, he concludes the following. Judgment is often well-founded and one almost ends up feeling that al -Mutan that, Mu that Mutanabbi was after all a mediocre po poet who was not only lacking in originali originality, but also had insufficient competence in grammar, lexicography, and rhetoric, and sometimes gave evidence of incredibly bad taste. Now, if you consider Shakespeare as well, Shakespeare is thought to be unparalleled in his use of the English language. However, you have to understand he's not inimitable. His sonnets are written predominantly in a frequently used meter called the iambic pentameter, which is a rhyme scheme in which each sonnet line consists of, consists of 10 syllables. And the syllables are divided in five pairs called iams or iambic feet. And also, since the blueprint of his work is available, it's not surprising that the English dramatist Christopher Marlowe has a similar style and that Shakespeare has been compared to Francis Beaumont, John Fletcher, and other playwrights of his time. 